at the entrance to the archaeological site of Humpy, capital of the ancient Vijayanagara Empire, stands a temple typical of the architecture of this period, housing a monolithic statue of Ganesh, the Sesivkalu Ganesha Temple. On this statue, Ganesh seems to have four arms. In reality, if we look at the monolithic statue from behind, we see that in fact Ganesh is seated on the lap of a woman. This woman is his mother, Parvati. It is to highlight the importance of the mother-child relationship in Hindu culture that Ganesh is sometimes represented on Parvati's lap. Between the Sesiv Kalu Ganesha Temple and one of the high places of Hampi, the Virapaksha Temple, many small temples dot an atypical path, mostly made of improbable granite soil. But this geological particularity of the region also participated in the decision of the first rulers of the dynasty to choose Hampi to establish their new capital. The Virapaksha Temple is the most important monument in Hampi. The temple was built in the 7th century, long before Hampi was designated as the capital of the empire in the 14th century. This temple is remarkable for its imposing architecture, carved columns and painted ceilings. It has remained an important place of pilgrimage and festival in the region.
The interest of a visit to Humpy is not limited to the many temples of the place, but also lies in a truly amazing surrounding nature. The rock formations and numerous granite boulders that seem to be stacked randomly provide an interesting visual contrast to the temples and other monuments. This is pretty much all that remains of the royal palace. Only the secret council chamber is still visible, since it was underground. Once at the center of the royal district, the palace was ransacked after the empire's defeat by the Deccan League in 1565. Other buildings in this district are still visible today, including the Queen's Baths, the Lotus Mahal, the Stables of the Elephants or the Wellstep. elephant enclosure has 11 rooms, each of which is intended to accommodate a single elephant. The architecture of the building is remarkable. Each bedroom has a large archway for the elephant to easily walk in and out of. In addition to this entrance door, an ingenious system of openings is used to ventilate and light the rooms. Thank you. 
After the Temple of Virapaksha, here is the second Pearl of Humpy, the Vitala Temple dedicated to Vishnu. This temple is remarkable in more ways than one. First the stone chariot, symbolizing Vishnu's chariot drawn by elephants in the courtyard. Next, this temple has a music hall in which there are 56 musical pillars that emit sounds when struck lightly. Obviously visitors are not allowed to touch or hit these pillars, thus depriving us of the sound produced. There is also the Kalyana Mantopa within the grounds of the Vitala Temple. A Mantopa in South India designates a pavilion or a hall with pillars intended for various activities. The Kalyana Mantopa was used for wedding rituals. <laughs> 